Hey, I'm JP Sears. Would you like to lose your extra body fat? Chances are, unless you're a competitive sumo wrestler or already a member of the Earth's elite fitness club, your answer might be yes. My experience is that your extra body fat being there is not the issue. It's a symptom of something deeper. What is the reason why your extra body fat wears itself on you? Would you believe me if I told you that unresolved emotional stress is a significant cause for extra body fat? It's a significant cause that's very rarely addressed. If this is true, then you would want to ask, JP, how does my emotional stress make my body fat increase? I'm glad you asked that question. I'd like to ask you to consider that your body fat is a slave to your hormonal system. And it doesn't stop there. Would you also consider your hormonal system is a slave to your emotional stress? What that really means to us is if we begin to resolve our emotional stress, which is the driving force of our hormonal system, which is the driving force of our body fat production and storage, then we begin to shed our extra body fat through emotional healing. To help you and I better understand this, I'd like to give you a very brief explanation of the hormonal system, telling you all you want to know and more than you need to know. So when you're carrying around emotional stress, there's two main hormones that you want to understand. Your stress hormones, cortisol, and growth hormone. So let's take a look what each one does. Your cortisol, when its levels are elevated because you're carrying around emotional stress, cortisol will make your body fat increase. It's a fat storing hormone. Hmm. But the plot thickens from there. Cortisol is also a muscle wasting hormone. So when your cortisol levels are up, your muscle mass starts to uh, deplenish. It starts to deplete is what I'm trying to say. And because muscle is a very inefficient tissue in the body, the more muscle we lose, the more body fat we're going to gain. So we're kind of packing it on from two angles here with elevated cortisol. Then when we look at growth hormone, the more your stress hormones go up, the more your growth hormone is going to decrease. Hence, it falls with emotional stress. So the beneficial properties that growth hormone carries we start to lose it. So beneficially, growth hormone makes us shed body fat. It also makes us increase our muscle. So what we're looking at here, the hormonal symptom of our emotional stress due to elevated cortisol and decreased growth hormone, we're set up to store more body fat and waste away our muscle tissue. But let's take a look at this in the big picture. So in your effort to lose body fat, where you're at and where your heartache is focused is right here. Oh, ooh, I've got extra body fat. As you can clearly see through this scientifically depicted diagram. But our purpose of looking at this is to see that we're, this stage is purely a symptom, several layers into the symptomatic world. So if we look at the body fat, ah, it's a symptom of decreased growth hormone and increased cortisol, which is a symptom of our emotional stress. So to get out of your living hell, that's why I'm inviting you to look to the cause beyond the symptom, the symptom, and the symptom that you're stuck in to what's causing all the symptoms. Consider three different realms of emotional stress. The first realm would be the known emotional stress, that is what you're aware of. Also a realm of the emotional stress you suppress. Those things that are kind of there, you know they're there once in a while, but you try not to think of them. So they're suppressed, they're right under the surface. And then there's the emotional stress that's repressed. Oh, these are the deep, dark, buried wounds that we all carry. Yet very rarely do we know they're there. Those things we've suppressed and repressed tends to control our stress response, squeeze it like an orange very strongly. Yet if we can cut through this vicious cycle and wholeheartedly address our emotional stress, we begin to balance out our cortisol levels. They'll drop to where they should be. Our growth hormone levels will elevate to where they should be, which gives our body the perfect environment 
to harmonize its shape. By addressing your emotional stress, you'll become happy. So to honestly heal your emotional stress, what I'm asking you to do is feel what's in your heart. You can't heal what you can't feel. The sensitivity to what you carry around in your heart, your emotional stress, to me is absolutely essential in order to resolve it. I'm not asking you to fall in the trap of believing your stress is relieved just because you don't feel it. I'm not asking you to just look at the stress that you're aware of. I'm also challenging you to look at the stress that you suppress and the stress that you repress, both in your present day life and uh, in your previous years on planet Earth. With your real emotional stress, I'm asking you to feel it with your heart and be in a very committed relationship of nurturing it. As you're working in the territory of your heart to heal your emotional stress, I'd invite you to use tools like meditation, journaling, and feel free to let me know if and when one-on-one -on -one coaching would be something that serves you. I'm glad you've joined me to consider how you can lose body fat through emotional healing. Based on a scientific study that I've just made up, if you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your friends, you'll lose 20 pounds in your first week.